Well, good Sunday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Twisted Koi Cupcakes. And you, Irish Geordie Koi. I see you. <laughs> well, didn't get much done there yesterday. We spent most of the day with Marge. Silly bugger decided to go down a fucking bird well the day before. So, yeah, went out and did my shopping and that with Marge. Uh, got plenty of jobs to do today um, just emptying the main easy pod at the moment uh, so I can get my bulkhead back in at the same time I'll also get the UV in position which means I can then start sorting out the cabling there we go so I can then start sorting out the cabling can't zoom in this mode, why? Why not? You're supposed to be all singing, all fucking dodging. Anyway, digression. <laughs> yeah, so get the UV in place. And then once I've done that, I can get the, uh, the main bottom drain line fired back up and running. Because it's now gone completely. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, Get this taken off and get this put back on or put back on put on even so then once that's on i can then get the grilling in so that's a couple of jobs ticked off there but while i'm cleaning easy pods and uh dumping water i'm gonna start slapping a coat of white masonry up see if we can get a better coverage over here and uh since i'm not gonna be able to get the ceiling done for a while once i've got the walls done i shall give the ceiling a coat as well which will look right now once again these are enjoying a afternoon munch airline singing away to itself because i've just had to pop it off of there so i can get the bulkhead fitting in i just want to get the uh the old uv sat where i want it before I uh, start the zip tying out, I can zoom out on this one, can't I? Yes, come on, fucking phone, that's better. Yeah, so at the moment, it's sat right near the top. But I want it to be just above the slide valve. It's a shame it's got a switch box on it which I'll probably end up super gluing that switch on permanently because this will be connected up to the uh, rocket control station that my dad built me uh, last year I wonder why I was getting cold nuts that fucking air is blowing straight at me hey <laughs> silence as well I kill you gotta love a bit of Ahmed haha <laughs> and that's Ahmed the undead terrorist Jeff Dunham, absolutely fucking brilliant comedian, gets me right fucking in the spot every time. <laughs> well, so it looks like we've got a break in the weather as well. So I'm going to put you up down for the moment. Oh, wait, hold on, oh, hang on a minute. I've got my vents in now with uh, a bit of pipe work, homemade pipe work, might I add, in between. So now I can get that little bit there bricked in and uh, then we will be sealed signed sealed delivered you don't want to hear me singing i will pick you back up very sure well that's job one almost complete uh i couldn't slide it down the i couldn't slide it down here because it it won't go past you, you haven't got enough depth there if you see what I mean so what I've got is I've got it sitting there dangling down in there and yes I know there's crap in there it's now going to get purged and boiled again <laughs>
and it's off again I've got to go indoors and grab some more uh, cable ties I keep chopping my head off <laughs> yeah also as you notice again there is no intro music my man Jim Bob he done the business done everything that we were required and then got told you have to email this person and that peer's person to take you off this list and that list so fuck it we just changed the fucking music on the videos that I have already uh, that is being done uh, but I will be at some point changing the uh, the actual intro video itself and when that comes about there will be a new tune going alongside it but for the memento I think uh, I still need to have my intro and Jim Bob my man he's made me I think it's seven different intros and I can't choose which one I want so if I add all those intros to the end of the video what I would like you to do is in the comments put one two three four five whichever number it is we you know we get one two three whichever order it is you just tell me which one you like and then uh, we'll go from there how about that one huh back later They do like their natural food. <laughs> We're back. I just got back from Brad's. Brad's giving me some wood. I'm in two mines at the moment. If we use it as it is in the filter house so I can uh, staple uh, or actually uh, cable clip my uh, cables to the wall because even though I've got some cable clips there, they're not very strongly held in the wall. They don't like going into uh, concrete rocks or bricks for some reason, and they are fucking masonry nails. So, on that one, uh, this one's on a clean. They're still on a f food hunt. They're still on a food hunt. Yep, so they're still munching like good ones. And hopefully, we'll get. Danny's fish up to him soon, which is the Agogoki Shisui, the Deutsch Chagoy, and the little Tancho Showa. We will get them there one way or another. Uh, right, yeah, so uh, that's boiling away. This has been boiling away since I uh, since I left, so that's how you've got a good second fucking boil that had, so I'm going to uh, get this one emptied and clean. Some silicon. Oh yeah, the silicon's going off good and proper up there. Lovely. Another job done. Woohoo. So, yeah, I'm going to go and uh, walk with the elephants, grab a can of coke, and uh, crack on. Because I ended up up in best mode a bit longer than I thought. Awesome chat here, bro. Awesome chat. Fucking love it. That's why he's my little bro. I don't fucking know. Five o'clock and it's fucking pitch black. I mean, a high ass gun. But it might be pitch black, but I've got my spotlight wired up. 
I've also got the UV wire in, not that it's going to go on because it's not fucking needed, but if I move this shit off of here, a load more stuff I've fucking knocked over the edge into that tank as well. But if we turn and flicker the switch, you can see we've got a glow down there. I'm not going to uh, go down any further because uh, you should never look at a running UV light. It will damage your eyes. Tip for the day, kiddies. So yeah, I've got that done. I've got the spotlights up, but I'm, uh, I'm missing one of the screws, so it's a bit pissed at the moment. <laughs> But yeah, got, as you can hear, the, uh, the old uh, skimmer pod is charging away. Oh, if I point the camera in the right fucking direction, wouldn't you? So yeah, I'm going to drop that in a momento and then uh, give it uh, a purge and a fill up and I'll let it boil again uh, just so I can get the level down out there. Uh, but I'm coming along with the fucking wiring and uh, sorting stuff out. That's getting there slowly. So here we've got UVs already wired in, boxes on the wall. I think I've decided I'm just gonna literally put the boxes on the walls where they uh, where they stretch out to and go from there. Spotlights are all in and done now. I've siliconed down the gaps on this side. I've still got to go under there yet. Uh, and then, uh, I'm in two minds at the moment whether to go one brick high above the tank all the way round in black but still not 100% sure on that but got a can of white gloss over there so I can get the final uh, coatage on stuff once it's ready but yeah plodding along nicely oh you got the equal ones in there having to swim because I've got that easy pod on the clean at the moment. But yeah, they're in the in the old airstream. Love them. No, that is a leaf down there on the floor, not a dead fish. <laughs> we don't do dead fish. But yeah, spotlights on. I've got to re-angle it and stuff because I've got to angle it in such a way that you don't get blinded when you're sat in there. But as you can see, pond is crystal. Fish are looking pucker. Isn't that right, my sweet pea? Huh? You ain't having any more, not till later. But look at me, you mind your own business. It has literally gone absolutely apeshit. Could that be down to the fact that I don't worry about test results and stuff? The fish tell me, you know, if they start acting unhappy, first thing I'll do is I'll clean the filters. Then, after I've cleaned the filters and gave them a water change, I leave them for a bit. And nine times out of ten, they'll settle back down nothing wrong with it at all and uh, the amount they're fucking eating at the moment I'm not surprised that that thing's grown like bilio <laughs> because it is fucking grown like bilio if you remember back to when I uh, wasn't that long ago I put the centre centre section in and that's grown like fucking I don't know what really chuffed with that really chuffed with that this one over here started a pitos I think and yes the spider plants are still growing. Who the thought, yeah? Fucking house plants in a koi shower. <laughs> I am quite pleased with that. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. you're right. No. The Deutsch Chagoy and the Harawaki, they're the main culprits, oh, and, uh, and the Makashi there. You know, they literally launch themselves out of the water into that. It's just phenomenal to watch. There's the Hoshkin shower. I've got 
a favourite from the new fish that have been added this year for me out of all of the new ones that we've added it's got to be that Hoshkin show that is going to be a real nice fish uh, jewelry's still out on the Easter show at the moment because uh, a lot of it's black completely disappeared but as I keep telling people those shovels, shiros are progression fish you have to be patient with them because Sumi acts in mysterious ways. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll call that tune of the day. Or did I do that earlier? Or if I didn't, tune of the day. Mysterious ways by YouTube. Fucking awesome, man. Would love to have seen them live. But yeah, digression aside, I'm going to uh, dump this easy part. No, in fact, the first thing I'm going to do is go in and chip the chicken. Otherwise, uh, Susan's going to probably string me up by my nuts. <laughs> And then uh, I'll get on my drum, drum this, drop this again. <laughs> well, that's the thing, the, the skimmer Johnny on anyway. And I can start topping back up nice and slowly now that uh, now that I've got that on. There we go. Basically a big reducer that I can stick a bit of four inch pipe in. And then I can top back up while I'm fucking around in here hands are absolutely fucking killing me right at this moment in time but this needs done as you can see there's one half of the handle it won't take long and the other half will go so uh, yeah it's time to get bits of three inch pipe out I'll have to get the heat gun out and uh, there goes my four inch bend for over there oh fuck's sakes Ooh. There we go. I might as well come out of there and go out there for a minute anyway. So yeah, I've got to uh, rejig this a little bit here. And we're going to get that in there in its place. And then I can uh, relocate this one upwards, which will make my life easier as well. So... Uh, yeah, that's uh, where we're at at the moment. Been denailing some bits and pieces. Uh, hopefully, it will dry out enough for me to run the uh, the old. Oh, fuck me! Hopefully, they'll dry out enough so I can run the circular saw down the middle, split them down, and. Uh, yeah, get some kind of framework up on the on the old toso tank, even if I only just get one openable window or so first. Because, uh, like I say, I want to put a horizontal across there, and I want to put one at least one side that opens up. I think it will have to be this corner, even if I fix that bit in solid and across the top. Yeah, so if I fix. I go straight across the top there, nice and uh, level. Panel in that piece with a, a piece of perspex, and then come from there down to here, and then that will be a solid section. And then this one, I want this one to open up, and I want this one here, right, to open that way. So, yeah, that's the plan because I've also uh, I've got to relocate the oh, fucking brain freeze bulkhead fittings. I've got to remove the bulkhead fittings from the other side, silicon some plates in. I put I'll do, a, do a double plate. I put one side inside, one side outside with uh, both with silicon in, and. Uh, I'll get them in there. Once I've got them in there with at least some pipe work, then I can then look at boxing the front in and uh, doing something with the top. Uh, I can then get on and get that boxed in. But before I get that boxed in, I've got to take that pump off, put the 3500 that I've got in there on and at the same time 
I will be bypassing uh, this UV so it will give me a better flow and I've got the old Dubry Firkin uh, uh, Davy sent down with the multi bay one of these uh, very flow plugs so I can take it down even further but I don't think I will really, uh, drop it down below 3500 I think that's a perfect fucking speed for what for what I'm after in there and uh, after looking at some of the media in the shower it's absolutely beautiful so yeah swap that over like that and I'm about to drop that one that's going to be the other job because at the moment when I drop the easy pod it goes whoosh straight out of the back <laughs> out, out there down into the car park into the local drain but what I've got to do and I'm more likely to do it when I change that pump one day this week and that is I've got to bring the waste along to to make up with a bit of pipe work I've got sat there already plugged and ready to go which will then empty into into the sump and then of course I'm going to have to also bring a piece up here uh, so I can join the vortex into it and the wastes on these two um, I think what I'm going to do with that one is I'm, I will put an active chamber in there but the rest is going to be uh, pretty much old school old school vortex will literally be just a vortex first chamber I'll keep the brushes in there and then I will go jack mat jack mat and active K1 more than likely so uh, yeah watch this space on that so yeah still got lots to keep me going there is plenty to do so stick around cupcakes because <laughs> we ain't done yet oh look at the state of my hat now oh. you're silvering fuck off that's why I always wear black <laughs> Two colours you'll always see me in. It'll either be black or it'll be camouflage. Other than that, I don't really do colours very much. So, so I don't know. But hey, I drive Susan around the fucking bed. And uh, yeah, so I've got to clean this ball valve up and get it set right. And uh, then I'll make a start on this lot. Well, one is not a happy cookie at the moment because this here ball valve is a okay let me just say it's fucking hard to open especially when I do it up so the fucking thing is not going to leak and yes I know what you're going to say open it up, use the spanner yeah I've had a fucking lump hammer on that handle trying to fucking loosen that off I think I'd have more fucking success right at this moment in time raising the fucking Titanic. So, yeah, it's gone from a, a temporary fucking stop till over to over fucking night because my, uh, my wrists and my fingers are fucking screaming at me right at this moment in time. So, uh, yeah, it means I'm going to have to fucking go and... Uh, hey, they're doing all right though. I'm going to have to fucking dig out the uh, the old Jubilee clip to go round there so I can get this fucker filled up. Oh. You know one of them jobs that you wish you never fucking started? Still got to do a bifter fucking run on the bifters in the turtle tank. I tell you, there's just not enough fucking hours in the day. Right, well, I'm going to have one uh, one last ditch attempt to uh, loosen this motherfucker off. And if not, just means I'm not going to have a, a skimmer running until I can get myself a, a new slide valve. And I think what I might have to do is if I get a four-inch slide valve, I can bang it. I can bang it straight onto there. Let's see where this rubber is there. If I get a four inch slide valve, I can bang it straight onto there 
and then go three to four to three inch and then bend it straight up and then just means the slide valve will be down here as opposed to in here but oh, I am physically fucking battered now so uh, yeah I'm gonna have to tidy up and uh, I'll pick you back up shortly that's it I'm fucking done done for the night that's it I'm fucked so uh, yeah And I can't put that one back on uh, because I don't think I've got enough pipe to get that one on because I would have to put it vertically as opposed to the way it has been horizontally. So yeah, right at this moment in time, I couldn't give a shit about the fucking skimmer. I just uh, like to say, fuck off my windows. saying earlier on I will be uh, oh, dropping in after this so I'm dropping the uh, the videos that my man Jim Bob it's my it's my intro but it's uh, seven different tunes there uh, if you can have a listen through them tell me which one you like the best and while you're at it see if you can pick which one I like the most <laughs> that will be that cool. Hey, I've lost my pot belly. I've been cutting down on the chocolate binge, but yeah, that was just the easy, easy pot to go through. So, yeah, there's no real tidy up to do in here. Uh, now I've got to go out and go and find the fucking. Uh, ah, can use that one down there. Got one down there I can use for the minute. Get that on the old uh, skimmer condom. And uh, I'm actually fucking mad at the mouth. That has really kicked the shit out of me. It pissed me right off as well because I don't have the fucking skimmer back up and running. So, um, yeah. yeah. Put a stop to that one, didn't it? <laughs> So, anyway guys, I'm just waffling now, and uh, have a listen to the intros for me, tell me which ones you think you like, and uh, I've been twisted for as all, sorry, as also, as always, you lot out there have been great, and I'll catch you all. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things Realize something needs change Cause I know you got me up Let me show you what's up Cause enough is enough Hey kid Don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of 
give everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret Give up, got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da